Welcome to the Sports Scouting Report Podcast with Lee Brickeen. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report with Lee Brickeen. We've got a great show today. Um, two great recruits, two great interviews. Um, we've got an interview with Parker Sayon, quarterback from Notre Dame or Crowley. Close to six foot four, two hundred and fifteen pounds. Uh, I think one of the top sleeper quarterbacks in the state of Louisiana. Played a few games in in two nineteen and did great. We're going to talk about that. Um, and also, we've got one of the top defensive ends in the state of Louisiana, Byron Turner from Saint Augustine High School, the Purple Knights in New Orleans. Byron's about six four. 240, 245 pounds, runs about a 4740, also a class of 221. Byron's been offered by over 40 colleges. Parker's got an offer from Air Force, um, and uh, we'll get many more as, as, as time goes on. But let's go ahead and go. Uh, and look, uh, I want to remind all our listeners, um, please be sure to order your Preview Magazine, our 24th annual Louisiana Football Magazine preview issue. It's going to be out in early September. Um, it's got all 300 high schools uh, featured, including MAIS schools um, from the class 1A to 5A and all the colleges. And we have a big, some big stories that uh, we're going to promote in each magazine. Um, but be sure to go to our website, LAFootballMagazine.com, to get a copy, pre-ordered copy, either a hardback copy or a digital copy. But let's go ahead and go into our first interview with Parker Sayon. Hi, everybody. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report with Lee Brickeen. We have a, a great show today, and I want to go ahead and introduce, I think, one of the biggest sleeper quarterbacks in the state of Louisiana for the class of 221, uh, Parker Sayon, who's six foot almost six four uh i'm glad you told me the update today parker you're 215 pounds thanks for joining us parker how's it going good to be here uh notre dame high school of crowley you know most people say notre dame but it's in crowley louisiana and um parker you were able to play a lot as a junior because of injuries to the senior ben broussard who was one of the top athletes in the in the area um not a big guy but was a great runner for the team and when he got hurt uh, you came in and played three games, started three games. Uh, two of those, you only played a, the first half because y'all had y'all were up ahead by a lot of points. Um, and I want to want to brag about you. You threw for 761 yards. Uh, you ran for 114 yards. You had 875 total yards and 13 touchdowns, and you only started three games last year. You got some action in some games because y'all were up a, a lot. But you know, going into this. This upcoming senior season, which I think we're going to have it at some point. I mean, you're one of the biggest sleeper quarterbacks, I think, in the state of Louisiana. And what was it like going in and having to re leave the senior last year and you had never started, Ben Broussard, when he got, went down? What was it like for you, Parker, to come in and have to lead the team? Well, it was, it was exciting. I, um, I've known all the guys for three or four years, and we had um, – I knew them before I got in high school, and they uh, they trusted me. They knew what I could do, and uh, it just forced me into that starting position a lot quicker, and I did what I had to do. I'm a, we're listening to Parker say on uh, upcoming senior 221 quarterback at Notre Dame or Crowley, six, almost 6'4", 215 pounds. And, Parker, last year you weighed, like, not even 190 pounds. I mean, you were a little bit leaner, you know, in the 180s. And yes, now sir. you're now you're 25 pounds bigger, all muscle. Um, we're doing your highlight tape, man. You've got some wheels on you. You're not the normal Notre Dame quarterback. You're the big guy. They don't. They're not used to having these big quarterbacks. What? It, you might be the biggest quarterback in what? Maybe ever in the school. Yes, sir. I think so. They've always had Notre Dame loves to run the ball, and they've always had shorter, faster guys. That uh, helped him do that. What's, and, it, what's it like playing for Louis Cook, the legend, um, one of the best coaches ever in Louisiana high school football? Coach Louis Cook. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. He's a um, great coach. He knows how to talk to all the guys, and he uh, he makes sure that we know that we know what we have to do 
and they're real confident in him. We're listening to Parker say on uh, Notre Dame or Crowley 2021 class quarterback who only started three games last year, had close to 1,000 yards passing and played some other games because they were up ahead because they got a great defense. Parker, you always have great defenses at Notre Dame. I've got a kid coming back, Lance Castile, that's pretty good, a senior. And um, now we've got some other players coming back on offense. And I know Coach plays a lot of running backs, keeps the running back rotation going. And y'all are not known for throwing the ball, but, man, when y'all do throw it, uh, you were very efficient doing it. That's not something that the team's really known for, right, throwing the football. Yes, sir. I'm hoping this year we air it out some more and um, – use it as good as we could have last year. You had a quarterback rating of 130 uh, your junior year. Um, again, you played, you know, under 190 in weight. Now you're 215, six, almost 6'4". Six, um, you've got really good grades, over a 3'8 GPA, and you're already qualified. You've been offered by Air Force, a D1 yes, program, and uh, Nickel State. What is it like getting those first two offers and, and then looking at what – it's going to come ahead for you with, with the other schools. Uh, it's really exciting. And uh, this football has been my life for the last three years. And I want to continue to play football for a long time. Parker, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a commercial break. We're going to talk more with Parker Sayon, quarterback from Notre Dame of Crowley, class of 221. We'll be right back. Hello, Sports Guy Report fans. Like what you hear? Well, you're going to love our content at LAFootballMagazine.com. This week, check out Recruit Spotlight on Landry Walker quarterback Justin Hudson, who has committed to the Tennessee State Tigers this past week. Also, make sure to check out our podcast and pre-order your North or South Magazine edition for this upcoming season. All that and more on LAFootballMagazine.com. Welcome back. You listen to the Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. We have Parker Sayon, a quarterback from Notre Dame of Crowley in class of 221. Parker, watching your film um, and watching you play, I was able to watch some full games of Notre Dame last year. And before I met you and your dad, Kerry, um, I was super impressed on the, your ability to run because um, you're a big guy. I mean, you're, you know, most 6'4". You're now going to be 215, weighing more. You're going to be stronger your senior year. But where do you get that running ability? Because that's not something these tall guys can do in high school. I mean, that's something that's really make that makes you a dual threat quarterback. Uh, yes, sir. My my dad has actually uh, he went to Notre Dame in the early nineties, and uh, he actually could to move for a year, and uh, he was a tight end for them, and he played against like Jake Jerome and some pretty good players, and. Thinking that's where I got it from. All right, here's a fun question for you. Who did you grow up liking for football? You told me two colleges in state that you grew up as a kid loving uh, growing up. What two colleges are they? Uh, LSU and UL. Uh, they've always been uh, close to home. And I grew up watching Miles Brennan, and uh, he was pretty good. I thought he threw. And, um, I've been watching Levi Lewis lately. He's like a sort of guy, and he can win. And, uh, he's real fun to watch. Well, you know, Miles is going to be starting this year, but you were a fan because he wasn't a starter yet, right? Yes, sir. What's Although that? I've watched him all throughout high school. Really? He's always had a cannon. Yes, sir. You saw him at uh, St. Stanislaus, Mississippi High School, huh? Old film on him? Yes, sir. What made you do that? You just, just was intrigued by watching his ability because y'all were built the same? Or, yes, sir. He, uh, right on the front of he was on the LSU and uh, did all the research and watched him and did everything. Uh, Parker, uh, you like baseball. You're an outfielder. You've got some power. You're a pretty good hitter. You said you've been playing baseball since the age of seven. What is baseball? What does that mean to you, too, and, and for college? Uh, it's always kept me in shape when I'm not playing football. And I just I love sports in general. So it's always a good, um, good, fun thing to do and be on a good team. And we had actually had a really good team this year, but uh, unfortunately it got cut short. Yeah. So. Um, what What do you think of the play of the the play of the year last year? You were voted by one of the local TV stations 
you had a pass against Turlings Catholic. What was so great about that one play? It was voted as the player of the year locally. Um, it was just a good play all around. We had, um, it was a play action pass to Barrett. We had fake to, uh, DJ in the backfield and, um, hoping they'd bite on that. And they really didn't. I had like three guys in my face and I saw that downfield and I just kind of laid it up for him. And he went up also, he went up over three guys and came down with it. So it was a really. What are you thinking, man, that miracle catch? Are you, like, already on the ground hit, not even knowing it, it happened? Yeah, I was so happy. I went to give him the biggest throw to <laughs> I was excited for him. And, uh, and obviously won the game um, against Turlings, I guess. Y'all had won that game, I believe, right, against Turlings? Yes, sir. Um, which, you know, they're a higher classification than, than Notre Dame. Um you know, there's been some great players come out of Notre Dame High School, Parker. Uh, you know, before you were born, Cade Como went to LSU. If it wasn't for a back injury, he would still be probably in the NFL today. He was 6'6", 320, ran a 4'7", 40. And then, you know, Tommy Casanova was before my time, but was one of the greatest players ever at LSU. And um, who would you think is the greatest football player to ever come out of Notre Dame, you know, in, in your era? Who, who would you say that would be? Uh, more recently, Tyler Selvin has been doing really good. He uh, came to Notre Dame as senior year, I think. Yeah. And uh, he's been doing great for LSU. And uh, excited to see what he's going to do this year for him. Jeff Cook was a good player, baseball, football. Coach's son, Louis Cook's son, went to LSU, then UL. Um, had a good career with UL in baseball. And several, you know, D.J. Welter went to LSU as a linebacker. A few of them went to uh, UL. They've had some kickers go to UL. Um, what is it like playing, again, for the for your coaching staff in, in this program? Because y'all take pride in, in that win-loss co- uh, column. I mean, Notre Dame, they don't really lose many games every year. I mean, I think y'all average nine or ten wins a year the last, you know, 25 years or so. So, I mean, that's something that the hard work there is, is big time, right, Parker? Y'all really work hard as a team. Yes, sir. Um, all summer, 5.30 in the morning on uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, she worked out. And uh, we're always trying to get better. It's just, they push us so hard, and it's, uh, it's all worth it whenever we win a lot. You're pushing 270 on the bench. That's one of the stronger benches for quarterback. And I'm sure it's not – in the top ten, because y'all got some strong guys on the team on defense, I bet. Um, yes, sir. And you squat 405, which is pretty good uh, for your legs. Shows you very strong in your legs as a quarterback. Um, but the weight room, is there a lot of competition there on, on, on the bench press and the squat cleans with a lot of those players? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you know, Lance, that's still yeah, he's pushing 315 on the bench. He can uh, – Get it up there. And um, Joe Brown, our tight end, he's very strong. And Gabe Leonard, they have a lot of strong, strong guys this year. And Lance is only 200 pounds, is that right? Yes, sir. That's amazing, man. That's 115 pounds over his weight, which is incredible. And uh, like you said, Leonard's is a really good tight end, DN. And, um, you know, y'all got some good players there. Joseph Brown's a really good player, I think, a sleeper this year. All, all those guys are real good. And, so, what's the goal this year, Parker, for Notre Dame? Is uh, to win a state title, to try and get the to get the state title back into Notre Dame at, at this yes, year? Yes, sir. It's going undefeated and winning state. That's our goal. Um, man, I'm excited to see you play your senior year. You know, now that you've, you're 25 pounds heavier, and I know all the schools are going to be looking at your tape, uh, LSU and UL, and you know Louisiana Tech, Tulane. All these schools are going to be checking you out because. You haven't really played a lot, really, going in your senior year, which is really good. You know, you haven't had that many injuries and all that stuff. And um, But you, you've got to be pumped up, huh? You're probably ready to go. Yes, sir. I've been ready since last year. All right, here's, the, here's one final question. How far can you throw a football? Oh, um, about 60, 65 yards. Yeah, and then you've got touch, though. I noticed the short game comes natural to you, too. Um, the other question I was going to ask you is that 
you're very calm under pressure, and you, you're able to get the ball out to the, to your teammates. But you don't you don't freak out when people are rushing. You make good decisions, and you're very calm. Where do, has that always been the case with you uh, in football? You just seem very poised. Yes, sir. I've um, I've never been scared to like hit people or take risks or anything. So I just if I know I'm gonna get hit, I I gotta have a good feeling and balance, you know. Parker, any any final thoughts uh, about family or any anybody to get you to this point, and, and anybody that's been a role model for you uh, that that you want to uh, give some, give a shout out to? Just my parents. They've um helped me through everything, got me to where I'm at done everything for me and uh my sister who is going to UL next year she just graduated and um yeah they've always been supportive and anything I've set my eyes on has helped me get you well Parker we wish you the best of luck obviously I'm going to be you know uh seeing you every week and and um you know obviously Louis Cook you play for one of the, one of the best coaches in the state and also programs and um, hope y'all can get the state championship back at Notre Dame. I know that y'all will be in the middle of that, and hope we can get this football season, in which I know it'll happen at some point. Um, but good luck to you, man, and uh, we can't wait to see you play your senior year. That's okay, right. Thank you so much. Don't don't hang up. Uh, we're going to take a break. You're listening to Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. We'll be right back. Parents, are you looking for advice on getting your high school athlete recruited by the right college? Lee Brakeen is your answer. Lee has been doing it for over 30 years. He knows the ropes, and more importantly, he knows the people. Lee offers turnkey service from evaluation, creating highlight tapes in the correct format, and complete guidelines for effective communication with the schools. No matter the sport, girl or boy, no matter what grade your child is in, let Lee Brakeen help match your child to the right college fit. Go to our website, LAFootballMagazine.com, and get connected today. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. You're listening to Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. We have a special guest today. I think one of the top recruits in the in the country out of New Orleans, Louisiana, out of one of the, to, to me, one of the best high schools to ever produce NFL players in the country for Louisiana, St. St. Aug, as they say, St. Augustine High School in New Orleans, Louisiana. And we have a defensive end by the name of Byron Turner, who's with us today, a class of 221. I think he's a rush linebacker, could play buck linebacker, could play defensive end. He's been offered uh, by a ton of schools. We're going to talk about that. But, Byron, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me. I know you're going to be practicing pretty soon. You're going to be out in that, in that heat and – uh, I know the Purple Knights, man, have a lot of history at the school. And what do you think of the history of the Purple Knights with Tyron Matthew and, you know, Chad Jones started there and, you know, uh, all the great players that have come out of St. Aug over the years. What is it like to play for the Purple Knights? Uh, playing for the Purple Knights is a great feeling knowing that um, there's a lot of big shoes I have to fill, like such as Tyron Matthew, Chad Jones, um, Trey Turner, Leonard Fournette. It just – a great feeling being able to play behind those guys. Uh, Byron, you're going to be a senior this coming year, and, and I saw you play. You're going, to, you're going to laugh when I say this, but I saw you dress as a freshman. And that's <laughs> and you know that's hard to do at St. Aug to dress as a freshman, right? Because y'all yes, y'all, have, y'all have 50, almost 50 freshmen every year. Yes, sir. So what have you learned being uh, patiently waiting your turn? You got to play a lot last year. This is you're going to be your big year. And you've been offered by, you know, Louisville, Virginia, Tulane, Central Florida, Tennessee, Mississippi State, Miami, Memphis, Kansas, Florida State, Colorado, Arkansas, Arizona. Um, you've been offered by Texas, I think, and also Baylor. You said you said you like Texas and Baylor a lot. You told my editor Jace the other day. Is that is that still the two teams you like the most? Yes, sir. Texas, Baylor, Florida State. Um, there's a couple other schools too that I like, but as of right now, those three are um, a high priority for me. Byron, you're a 3.87 GPA student. You're a great student. Um, I think you got great feet. You're a great athlete. I don't think you've hit your upside yet 
going into your senior season. I don't think you've shown everybody your upside, right? No, sir. Uh, last year, my uh, junior year that just passed was really my first year uh, having a whole season because uh, my 10th grade year, beginning of the season, I got hurt. I only got to play about five games. Mm-hmm. And so this year was really my first year starting and playing all the games. And then next year is going to be my last year. This year I get to really show what I've been working on. And Byron, I want to mention you're six foot four to the people listening, yes, 240 pounds. And I think, I don't care what your hand time is, but you look like a four seven forty, which is moving for your size. Yes, sir. That's, a, that's really what it was. Uh, whenever I, I um, was going to my trainer, and the last time we had ran a four, it would have um, hand time, it was a four seven. Your first year to play, you had 63 tackles in 19, 2019. You had 13 sacks. Three fumble recoveries, one interception, and you even scored a touchdown. Talk about your TD, man. What was that? A pick six or a fumble recovery? Um, it was a a scoop from a punt. Okay. I mean, my um, I believe that one because I had recovered two block punts, and then the one I had scored on, I think that was Kenny Revoy. Okay. He had got back there, blocked the punt for me, and I was just right there, able to scoop it up and. Was able to get in for the touchdown. Everybody that watches St. Aug this year, look for number 90. That is Byron's jersey. He's number 90. And you remind me of a couple of former great defensive ends from St. Aug, Byron. I don't know if you remember these names. They were before your time now, but they might be on the wall. But you remember the name Roland Seymour went to Florida State, James Hall that went to Michigan? Uh, I don't know them. I just heard the name a couple of times. Yeah, those two guys came out of St. Aug. Roland Seymour was your size. He was 6'4", about 240. And Roland played for Bobby Bowden at Florida State, made All-American. And then James Hall went to Michigan and made All-American. He was about 6'3", about 260. And so when I think of St. Aug, I think of of those two. And then LSU took a guy by the name of Raheem Aleem. Remember Raheem Aleem, Chad Jones' brother? No, sir. He was he was an all SEC defensive end from St. Aug. And uh, you know, Leroy Hard was a big time running back at St. Aug, played for the Vikings. Um, Tyrone Hughes played for the Saints before your time. He was a great receiver. Special teams I remember guy. Coach Tyrone. He uh Coach Tyrone had came back and coached this for uh, a couple of years. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He was that coach and uh, yes, sir. You know, I think there's hard, it's really hard to find pass rushers, Byron, coming out of high school, guys who can rush, guys that have size. And you, you've got the frame to weigh 270, 260 and still run and play that, that DN spot in college. I don't think you're going to have any problem putting that weight on, right? I mean, you, you're still pretty lean for a big guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, putting the weight on is not a problem for me. I, I just – I don't have no problem with getting the weight. Whatever the coach need me at the place, I'm going to get to that weight. I'm going to stay at it just so I can ball. I mean, there's really no big deal for me with weight. Weight's not an issue. We're listening to Byron Turner, star defensive end for St. Augustine High School in New Orleans, class of 2021. One of the top recruits, I think. I think you're one of the top recruits in the country, Byron. You're not a five-star, four-star. I don't get into all that. Um, I think right. I think you're a power five starter in any school. Um, you, you bench you bench 355 pounds, which is pretty yes, good. Sir. And then your squat max is 505. And me and you have yes. something in common. You said your favorite hobby is fishing. That's my favorite hobby. Yes, sir. I enjoy. I mean, I'm not good at it, but I just enjoy getting the pole in the water. You fish ponds or lakes or the poncha train? Where do, where do you fish when you go fishing? Um. I go back to my hometown. I'm originally from uh, Port Selfie. Oh, so man. whenever I feel like fishing, I just go back out there to the country, and it's nothing but open water. Byron, that's God's country, man. That's that you can catch redfish in the same spot as a bass, probably. Yes, indeed. I've, I've fished in that area a few times over the years, and uh, we fish in that shallow water. And we've even used like bow and arrows to to like get redfish and stuff. And uh, uh, yeah. It's it's neat seeing those big old redfish that are 10, 15 pounds in two feet of water. You know, and it's fun. It's not like fishing, right, Byron? I've I never been boat fishing before. you never been? No, sir. Man, you got you to gotta tell you, 
everybody in, in, in that area, man, South Plaquemines, that, that's something you got to experience. It's, I'm, I'm it, trying. It's hard. My, uh, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to, to like, when you aim at the water, the fishermen will tell you this, you got to aim like five inches like in front of where you really want to shoot there because you can't aim right at the fish because the water, it, it, it throws you off, you know, with the fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to aim, you know, you got to aim like way in front. So it's hard, man. It's like, and I know guys that can, they don't even miss. Like they can see the fish in the water and hit them, you know. And uh, yeah, that's uh. That's uh, something I want to do. I'm uh, looking forward to going out at least one day before, before I move from down here. I hope to go uh, boat fishing. Byron, tell everybody what is the key for where you're going to commit? Because I know you're not in a hurry. You've got you've got close to 40 offers, and most of these are D1, some big time programs. But what right. what's gonna what's gonna what's gonna separate? that one school for you when you decide this is it. And, and I, you're probably going to commit right during the season or right when the season's over. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I won't commit like right before the season. My coach wanted me to commit, um, going into district. Okay. But I want, I really want to have my commitment before the season. So, I mean, talking to my coach and, and talking to my dad, we're going to get a time set up between, between district and between, uh, the beginning of the season. We'll have something coming soon. Byron, have you visited any of these schools before the, the the virus hit? Did you get a chance to go to any of these campuses? Um, I wasn't able to go see all of them, but I was able to see um, LSU, Tennessee, Alabama, um, Baylor, uh, Ole Miss. I saw Florida, Mississippi State, Texas A and um, I think that's it. Oh, and I've been to Tulane too. Okay. Hey, Byron, yeah. don't hang up. We're going to take a break real quick and bring you back. And I want to I ask you about your teammates in this coming season. All right. All right, just hold there. That's Bar- we got Byron Turner on with us, class of 221, St. Aug, defensive end, one of the top recruits, I think, in the country. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Hello, Sports Guy Report fans. Like what you hear? Well, you're going to love our content at LAFootballMagazine.com. This week, Check out Recruit Spotlight on Landry Walker quarterback Justin Hudson, who has committed to the Tennessee State Tigers this past week. Also, make sure to check out our podcast and pre-order your North or South Magazine edition for this upcoming season. All that and more on LAFootballMagazine.com. Welcome back. You listen to Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. I have one of the top recruits in the state, in the country, I think, as a defensive end. He could be a buck linebacker, Byron Turner, who uh, is originally from South Plaquemines, uh, plays at St. Aug, St. Augustine, the Purple Knights. And number 90, this is jersey number. you got to check him out this year. I saw him play in 19. Um, Byron, your team, St. Aug, has come so close the last three years, even going back to Fournette. You know, Leonard was yeah. close, but Leonard didn't get to that state title game, and neither did Tyron Matthew or Trey Turner or any of those guys, but y'all have the team right. Y'all have the team to get to the Dome this year. Y'all got the pieces. Y'all got a good quarterback coming back. Y'all got some good running backs. Y'all got yeah. a really good defense. I know y'all lost some guys on the D-line, some young guys around you who are coming up, but all the pieces are there, right, to get to the Dome, I think. Yes, sir. I mean, uh, the only thing that we've been lacking from the um, the, uh, the last two times that we had got close was the discipline. We uh, we never really focused on getting the little things done. We always had the talent. We always had the coaches and stuff. But it's just when it comes down to the discipline, it was just on the team. We didn't have enough discipline. And this year, uh, uh, Coach Nick, he had got it set up to where uh, the team, uh, he picked a couple captains, and we run the team now. So, like, Whatever the team, if the team messed up, the captain's got to pay for the team mess up. And he making us police ourselves. He's making us uh, run the team ourselves. That's so good. Like, That's good, Byron. It shows leadership, too, and you being one of those guys. And I think I think some of those Leonard Fournette teams almost could have won it all. You know, when Trey Turner and Matthew was there, Tyron Matthew, they had some good teams. But what do you think of your quarterback, man? I think he's one of the best sleeping quarterbacks in the state. Kendall, he's one of the best quarterbacks I've seen in high school. I mean, he could do it all. I mean, 
He go run. He go throw. He he, he small with the ball. He not a dummy. Yeah. I mean, he he talented at practice. Yeah, he's he fast, quick. He could throw it. He he's just talented all around. I'm yeah. happy to have him as a quarterback, as my quarterback. He's a senior, six two, about two oh five. He's got some size on him. He can move. I, I call him smooth. He's smooth when he when you chase him. Yeah. He's calm, you know, and he gets away from yeah. people. And then uh, he don't have no problem with running away. And y'all got two he great. That, the, Justin Dole's a big power back. Dole's about two ten. Can run. He's a D one guy. And you, I've got another running back. You told me. That I saw a little bit that sat out last year. Talk about the running back that got hurt last year that's coming back that's going to be good with Dole. Um, Killer Pritchett, um, number 26. He's a great running back, fast. Um, he got power with him. He a loser. I mean, he just – last year he had got hurt in the spring game. And the uh, coach that we had didn't want to really play him because of his injury that he had. So – he didn't really get to play. The only play game that he really played was uh Alanja Walker game, and he had about 150 yards with six carries. Incredible. Yeah, um, yeah he, he's an incredible player. Byron, the defense last year had like almost 70 sacks, and you had thir- you had 13 of them. Yes, sir. Was there a better team getting to the quarterback in the state last year? I don't think anybody got more sacks than St. Aug last year as a team. I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure, but I mean, last year we just all had the same focus. We all had that one goal was to get sacks. I mean, sacks is what controlled the game. That's what we were uh, taught at practice. So we just tried to do our best controlling the game and getting the sacks. What's your favorite part about football, Byron? I mean, when you, I know practice is usually not favorite part because practice is hard, you know, but what, what do you love once it's game time? That's when everybody gets to, gets to play under the lights. What, what do you like most about football game day? Um, on game day, I like all of it. Everything is just exciting to me. Just being able to go out into the stadium, playing with my teammates, playing in front of the fans, um, just playing against tough opponents because in the college meet, there's a lot of them. Uh, just being able to compete every every weekend, just everything about game day is what Byron, good. I what, love it. What is – um. Who, who, what position coach fellow shoe is recruiting you? Do you know what position coach? Wait, what you say? What coach from LSU's been recruiting you the most? Who, who do you talk to with LSU the most? What coach? I don't. I don't talk to nobody from LSU. Okay. Uh, a couple months ago, Coach Mickey Joseph, he kept in contact with my dad, but I haven't heard from. I don't think my dad heard from him uh, in a while either. Okay. Well, you know, I mean. Recruiting is all is different now, you know, with the two signing periods you got I I don't think December will be December. I think the NCAA is gonna move that back, Byron. I think I think the early and late's probably gonna be pushed back. And and I think you're even gonna probably have more time to decide because you know, because of the, the virus, you know, I think that's gonna push everything back. Uh, I don't see us I don't see us having a December period. I really don't. Signing period. I think I think that might turn into February and February might turn into April. You know, yeah, from from uh from what I've been hearing, um, it's only gonna be one sign in there, and that's up in February. I heard that uh the one up in December is is canceled because of the virus. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Heck, man, you're on top of everything, Byron. Keep up. With I try everything. to. <laughs> I try to be. I mean, I got I got a great support system. I got my mom, my dad, my sister. Uh, I got some coaches. I got some teachers that be helping me, too. I just got a, a lot of support that helped me get through it all. And that's good, man. That's real good. Um, look, I can't wait to see you play your senior season. Number 90, Byron Turner, 6'4", 240. Runs a 4'6", 9", 4'7", legit, 40. Uh, looks faster to me on the field, even faster than that. 13 sacks in 2019, which is phenomenal in the Catholic League. One last question, Byron, before we let you go. What yes, team sir. in the Catholic League do you enjoy playing the most? I know all of them are tough, but but is there one team out of Jesuit and, you know, Holy Cross and, and Brother Martin and, and all of them? Is there one team that sticks out? Rummel, any, who you like playing the most? Um, 
Last year, it was Rumble who I, I enjoyed playing the most, but normally it's Don Curtis because the the week of preparation going into that game is just it's, I, I like I never seen it before. Like the whole team just come together, focus. It's just we have an amazing week of practice just to play Curtis. And I just enjoy going through that week of practice. I enjoy going through all that hard work that they're putting us on for us to be prepared for Curtis. And I just enjoy going out there in the stadium under the lights playing against Curtis. It's tough. It's one of our toughest games of the season. Hey, Byron, a lot of people don't really understand outside of New Orleans how every team I mentioned, including Curtis, th- those are some of the best teams in the state. Yeah. I mean, there's no easy games in this in this district. Not at all. Um, all the um, schools in our district, they like they focus more on on, on run. They don't really spread the ball and, and throw it. So like everything coming up the middle, all they doing outside zeros and stuff. So they have bigger guys blocking, and it just make it a whole lot more challenging. Then uh, whenever we play schools out of district, because everybody just just smaller. Yeah, you you probably welcome a spread offense, huh? Yes, sir. I love playing whenever we play out uh, out of district. You can you can rush the passer more when it's spread offense, and and the one on ones are, are tough to beat St. Aug on defense. And you know these power teams that teaches you to get ready for big time college football because in college everybody's going to run the ball right at you with power. So I mean you you're getting the the experience in your own district to get ready for the big college game. and But, Byron, we really, we really appreciated you calling in from St. Augustine. I know you're about to get ready for football practice. And yes, sir. And look, man, good luck to you. We're, I'm one of your biggest fans. And you're gonna, Appreciate you're gonna, it. You're going to be in the preview magazine that comes out, you know, be out early September. Um, and you're one of the top players in the country. And, um, you know, the, these, these star rankings really don't always – let you know who the best players are because, you know, you're gonna you're gonna peak your senior year, and I think everybody's gonna offer you once you get to play your senior year. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, thank you for having me, though. I appreciate you giving me the time and me the opportunity to be on your podcast. I, I really enjoyed it. Look, don't hang up. We're gonna go ahead and, and go, but don't hang up so I can talk to you. But you, uh-huh. you'll be listening to the Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. We'll we'll be right back. Parents, are you looking for advice on getting your high school athlete recruited by the right college? Lee Brakeen is your answer. Lee has been doing it for over 30 years. He knows the ropes and more importantly, he knows the people. Lee offers turnkey service from evaluation, creating highlight tapes in the correct format, and complete guidelines for effective communication with the schools. No matter the sport, Girl or boy, no matter what grade your child is in, let Lee Brakeen help match your child to the right college fit. Go to our website, LAFootballMagazine.com, and get connected today. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brakeen. If you want to read more on Parker Sayon, the Notre Dame Pioneers, Byron Turner, the St. Augustine Purple Knights, and all the high school and college football teams in the state of Louisiana, go to LAFootballMagazine.com to pre-order your North or South Magazine edition for the upcoming 2020 season. Also, don't forget to subscribe to wherever you listen to your podcast. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we will catch back with you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brakeen.